everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about five expert tricks for switching lanes like a pro. I'll be going over five simple tricks that the experts use when they're switching lanes. And it allows them to switch lanes like an absolute pro. Let's get right into the video. Number one is check your mirrors and your blind spot twice if there's a delay in switching lanes. Now, a lot of people forget to do this, okay? They'll check their mirrors and their blind spot. Sorry about the poor lighting, but this is the best that I could do. They'll check their mirrors and the blind spot, and then they'll wait to switch lanes because, you know, something stops them from switching lanes. And then they'll just switch lanes, you know, three, four, five seconds later. I'm sorry, that your, your mirror check and your blind spot check are no longer valid. So basically, if you check your mirrors in your blind spot and something causes you to wait more than one or two seconds to switch lanes, well, I apologize, but you gotta check your mirrors in your blind spot again because the mirror and blind spot check that you just did it no longer is no longer valid. A car could now be in your blind spot and you wouldn't know it, okay? Um, number two, the second expert trick is know the purpose for each lane. And I put purpose in quotes because Sometimes it's like a legal purpose of each lane, and other times it's just like an unwritten rule. So you wanna know what each lane is for. So like for instance, on the highway where I live, there is no legal purpose for each lane, but there's like an unwritten rule of what each lane should be used for. There are four lanes. The leftmost lane, okay? The leftmost lane is going to be for passing cars, okay? Or if someone's driving really fast and they're passing all the cars, okay? The middle two lanes, are gonna be for driving. And then the rightmost lane is gonna be for exiting and merging. So if you're about to exit or if you're merging onto the highway, that's what the rightmost lane is for. That's an unwritten rule. Does everyone follow that? No way. But should everyone follow that? Yes. Traffic would be a lot, a lot faster. It would be a lot better. There would be fewer accidents. Also, you know, oversized vehicles stay towards the right. Like if they're trucks, delivery trucks, transport trucks, stay towards the right. Does it, you know, for the most part, the unwritten rule is not that they have to be in the absolute right lane, but stick towards the right. Maybe don't drive in the left lane or the second lane from the left. Very simple, okay? Uh, trick number three is to pick a lane and stick to it, okay? Now, believe it or not, weaving in and out of lanes doesn't save much time, okay? And I'm telling you this, not only because I've read that so many times, but because I've experimented with it, okay? I've literally tried in the same amount of traffic, okay, almost identical traffic, okay? Um, how, how long it took me to get a certain number of kilometers while sticking to a lane, okay? Versus how long it took me to get that same number of kilometers while weaving in and out. And like literally, if you're driving for half an hour, while weaving in and out of traffic compared to sticking to a lane, you might save yourself maybe two minutes, maybe. And that's that's if you really get lucky with the weaving, okay? So it's just not worth it. And your risk of an accident goes through the roof. I mean, unless that two minutes will literally make a massive difference in your life, then, you know, at that point you have to, you have to weigh it up. I would still recommend against doing it. Do not do that at any time. That's my recommendation, okay? Um, number four, trick number four is memorize the size of your blind spot. Now in every vehicle, there is a blind spot. There are two blind spots on either side. That's, that's how I was taught to drive. There are two blind spots, okay? Because it depends how you position your mirrors. Um, so always act as if there are two blind spots. They're gonna be over your right shoulder and over your left shoulder. Now I will tell you, when I had my old car, which was a two-door Honda Civic Si 2009, I love that car, um, the blind spot was fairly small. Okay, you know, there's only a small window you could look out for the blind spot, a small area of the windows you could look out. And it was just small because it was a small car and the mirrors are fairly large for that size of a car. On this car, which is my Honda CRV EXL, I love this car, by the way, I love all cars. Um, the blind spot is way bigger. The adjustment period for me, learning to check these blind spots properly was huge. And I'm like, I'm a huge driver. I'm like a person that takes pride in, in my driving skills. Um, so take the time to memorize the size of your blind spot. Every vehicle is gonna have different blind spot sizes. Now I will say on this vehicle, there's a blind spot camera. If I put my right signal on right now, I can see my blind spot um, through the blind spot camera. Very simple, and, and the mirror area. So. You know, with the blind spot camera, with the, you know, it's a mirror camera, but it also shows the blind spot. Um, 
it makes it much easier, but I still check my blind spot as if it's a habit, right? And I only have it on one side. It's not on both sides. It's only on one side, okay? Uh, moving forward uh, to number five, expert trick number five, and that is to counter steer like I just did right there when you get into the lane. Now, a lot of people were taught to switch lanes, um, but they weren't taught to counter steer. So I'll show you right now after I make this turn. So as I'm driving on this road, I'm gonna switch lanes towards the right, okay? So I'm driving, I switch lanes towards the right. You know, I do all my, my, my signaling, my safety checks. I steer towards the right, and then you have to steer back. Counter steer, steer back towards the other direction. That's how you switch lanes properly. If I just stay towards the right, I'm gonna go on the curb, or I'm gonna go to the oncoming lane of traffic towards the left. So instead, you have to counter steer. Watch, I'll, I'll switch lanes towards the left. Signal, do all of my safety checks, okay? Steer to the left counter steer back to the center okay so you have to counter steer don't forget to counter steer uh because if you do you're gonna go into the curb you're gonna go into another lane right you have to counter steer to straighten that vehicle out and that's basically it those are five expert tricks for switching lanes like a pro if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.